What's up guys, back with some more raids today and the server has wiped so this is going to be the exact first raid of the wipe for me and for that reason we're going to be silence explorating with 2k explosive ammo. Now obviously doing this so that we don't get countered here on our first raid and lose a good portion of our sulfur and the radius for the explo ammo should be reaching out about to over here by the coastline. Maybe somebody at junkyard can hear it but this base is actually pretty big, pretty massive of clan base i'm going for here on the first raid bringing a repair binge obviously we're gonna try to good spot to slap this down we're gonna have to be repairing ak's and need to grab some hqm first but yeah let me show you guys the base design here looks pretty juicy and there it is i'm kind of hidden off over here in some boulders it does have a scrappy on top but it's kind of on fire hoping that that doesn't mean these guys are online it would be tough to online this big of a clan let's get up on this base and check it out there's actually two of them over here but assuming that one's the main i mean come on if you just look at him we do need to check for auto turrets on this thing looks like a base that would have auto turrets And you guys can see it actually gets pretty skinny because they use these wall frames as stability instead of actual walls. Barricades need to somehow either jump over these or will ladder over the wooden high wall. Let's try for this jump. And that's an actual sheet metal door. Looks like we're not gonna have any privilege in here unless it's over in that corner to set down the repair bench. So we'll have to ladder up to get out. Let's try this jump first of all. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So do we have any privilege over here? Oh, dude, we're building blocks. So we'll have to jump up out of here to repair, which is going to suck, but at least there's a sheet metal door. We can look through his windows too. You know, I'm like looking into here and armored with lockers surrounding it. I think it might actually be cheaper to take this embrasure than go for the pathway. I'm gonna go for that, 500 health on it. Let's try it. Embracer is not breaking to explosive ammo. Did they like make an update for that? It makes no sense. Just used 120 plus expo ammo on it, not even damaging it. Did I miss something in the update? Um, we're gonna go for this stone, I guess. Okay. Well, there is a roof there. We were damaging it though. Only 27 health on it. And there we go. We're in. Not sure what was going on with that embrasure, lockers, and we saw that armored core first floor on the beds. <sighs> Woo! Almost got shot by that trap. Let's see if there's anything in here. Can we get some extra weapons? Yo, wait. Do these not have ammo? Because we should have got shot by that one. Okay, maybe these lockers are just placed to make it more difficult to get in. But yeah, I think we're gonna have to drill through armored on this one, guys. So we'll have to hop up out and repair in a bit. Gonna go for this center armored wall. We can shoot in between the gap of the lockers. Okay, here we go, guys. It's about to break on the next clip. Let's get a new silencer. Let's go. Can we get anything? Yes. Sulfur boxes. Let's go. Looks like they were sealed off, possibly. Half floors down there, and we might have to take another stone wall. Looks like it's honestly hidden below his doors, but let's start checking. Is that a sleeper? Oh my god, they're empty. Okay, not completely empty. Um, let's go for this stone wall next to it. Honestly, it looks like there's some hidden loot down here. Here we go, let's see if we can get some weapons so we don't have to ladder up out of here and repair yet again. Car parts. Okay, looks like we do. <laughs> we're gonna have to repair one more time at least. Hoping that we're gonna find some juice from this thing, but let's get out of here and repair. Okay, we got more boxes. Can we please get some more weapons? I'm literally gonna have to get more HQM if we have to repair again. All right, jackhammers. Looks like maybe some weapons in here. Can we loot the back boxes? Okay, let's jackhammer this box down with revies in it. Looking for some AKs and I guess we're gonna have to go for another armored wall. 
Here we go, guys. Let's go. 8C4, 10 rockets. We got some LRs there. And I think we might just turn to big boy explosives for the rest of this raid. Risk getting countered, though. You know what? Since we're this deep and possibly loot on each side of these walls, I'm going to come back here with some more HQM and silencers. We'll use the LRs from the space to actually take down these walls. I'll be right back yet again. Okay, we've got the C4 and rockets stashed. There was only eight C4, 10 rockets. We're gonna keep on going and take down hopefully both of these half armored walls at once. And yeah, we'll take those 31 satchels. We have a few more weapons in here if we need to craft up more silencers and use, but I think I'm pretty good for now. Here we go. Finally. Yo, that's a DC. This has got to be the main loot and maybe some more explosives. Is it locked? It is locked. Let's see if we have priv. I didn't see any externals, just foundations extending out. Let's get sealed off in here. Oh no, we are blocked. Okay, so let's see if we can get these boxes destroyed. First of all, we'll start checking them. Small box empty. Boxes in the boxes. There's the comps box. 36 tech trash. Meds. And some more weapons. So we'll get these boxes destroyed. Let's get to that TC and check it. We can make two auto turrets with that. Come on. I really want to go for that TC next. Just to see if we can expect anything. Yes, boys, that's what I'm talking about. 50,000 sold for nearly an entire stack. Now, we're still not safe in here. I do have ladders blocking the entrance. Oh, my God. As soon as I say that. No way, dude. What was in these boxes? Bro, insane. Ah, oh, dude. Not good, boys. So we're gonna have to defend against two guys who laddered in here with the 50,000 sulfur on us. Wonder if we killed one of them. Did we get them all? Yo, I'm kind of shaking right now. Let's see if we got them all. Okay, we got them both, guys. Let's go. We can get out of here. 50,000 sulfur. Let's go. Come on. Let's get back to the raid base and we're going to go check the rest of those boxes if we can. Come on, baby. Okay. I think we checked everything there. Wow, that pathway was left open. I swear we probably would have broke that frame though and bunker would have sealed up. But I think that's everything, guys. We'll escape with the rest of this stuff in the TC. So glad that we were able to succeed that raid. I did not want to give those guys a free 50k sulfur. Yeah, we'll leave that stuff for now. And let's get right back up out of here. Go defend the raid base. Hold it down. And I'll see you guys in the next raid. Oh my gosh, I was about to start a raid and we're getting countered. Only brought eight rockets, eight C4 to this thing. 
But I just found that armored iceberg base and now we have a counter on a mini. Looks like they might be hitting it. Or maybe that's their base. Either way, I guess we're gonna have to find something different. Did they not see me? They're not even like looking or shooting at me. That was gonna be my raid, dude. Okay, we'll keep on looking. Kind of risky out here with eight rockets and C4 on me. But we'll see what we can find. So I was scouting out the icebergs. This one actually just had a scrappy sitting on top of it. I'm gonna fly back over there to the iceberg base. Haven't heard any explosives. I guess it's possible that was them just returning home. Let's do a flyover and see if they come out or if we can raid them online or something. Still have the eight C4 and nine rockets on me. Not much experience driving these scrappies because I roll solo, but how hard can it be? Yeah, looks like they're expanding. That could definitely be a main base. I don't know how easy it is to shoot people out of these, but I assume it's pretty difficult unless you have like an 8x. What if we just drop in and land? I mean, we scored 50k sulfur from that other raid. We could risk these rockets in C4. Yeah, he's outside, he's naked. Okay. Yeah, yo, this might be a complete fail. Oh my god. Alright, let's do 1c4 on there. If he opens it, we'll send a rocket. in there it's wide open where is he yo we got a hit marker there were two though I think let's go yo let's go that's all open guys let's get that TC put a door up no bags for him? Okay, did we just do that? Is it that easy? Let's go, guys. Box is full of gear sets. What the heck was this? He had a launcher on him. No rockets in it. Bit of tech trash and sulfur in there. The most bizarre thing, he's like totally oblivious. Four rockets, Agent LMG, bunch of weapons. TC's got only 5k sulfur in it, but yeah, he's like completely oblivious. Just landed on top of this thing. And the first part, he didn't even see me driving away with a boat, or at least didn't shoot at me. But yeah, a couple more boxes here to check. 25 rockets, what the heck, man. We got a GL now for wipe with a bit of GL rounds too. Wonder if these guys are even gonna come back to defend or anything? I guess we should probably slap a door up here. Okay, I feel kind of bad. Like, are these guys new or something? I don't know, but a few more boxes here. 4C4 just keeps on rolling in. Yeah, that was one of the best profitable raids. We used 1C4 and a rocket, and we got 25 rockets. Leaving with 11 more C4 too. Fortunately, I think we broke the mini and the scrappy But yeah, just honestly pretty bizarre raid how like <laughs> how do they not defend it at all Anyways, sorry in short 911. I feel bad after that one and I think somebody might be back here But I'll let you guys know what happens and I'll take you guys the next raid if nothing else happens. All right, well, I still am out here scouting. Look at that clan base being upgraded and built right in front of me. Probably can't online that one, but we've gotten so lucky today with raids. I mean, getting countered and succeeding and then doing an online and succeeding doesn't really ever happen for me. Just wanna show you guys this armored base. No, I don't think I'm gonna risk doing this with my luck today, but this dude did have a shop in there and he's showing off, I think he had five M2s for sale. Let's see. That's 74 C4 in there, 230 rockets, are you serious? 
Maybe we should raid this thing. But yeah, I was looking at this. He had... Well, I can't access that shop, but there were five M2s for sale. And if you look at this thing, if we can get up the rock. Um, okay, well, I can't get up the rock, but here you guys go. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on this thing. Maybe we'll go for that first thing tomorrow. But like I said, not really trying to risk it as more people are hopping on the server. Looks like he's got turrets covering the outside external walls. Probably turrets here too. Yup, that's a turret. Okay. Anyways, gonna keep on scouting. Let's not lose everything that we worked for today. I'll see you guys once I find something. Okay, going for something a bit smaller for this next one. You guys don't know how stressful it is sending off 2k explo ammo solo while getting countered. And I just want to do something easier to ease my mind. And I have a plan after this raid. We'll try to find a cave raid, maybe for the last raid of the video. Try to get a jackpot from an armored cave and we can instant off the back and not have to be so stressed out. But first of all, let's hit this base over here now. I know it's a smaller base, but he does have a compound large furnace and apparently a horse. Sheet metal door on the front. Definitely going to go for that, see where that leads. Only bringing 10 rockets. 10 C4 should be good enough to do it. And let's check the top for a hatch. Okay, no hatch up here. Completely sealed. We'll stick with the plan. Definitely a flame turret in there that I can hear. One rocket on the front door. No turrets to cover my back here, so we're risking this C4 and rockets. Let's go for it. Armored, really? Okay. Well, if he's gonna do that to me, I'm going straight in the back corner with 4C4. We get TC? Empty? What? Are you kidding me? We should have taken the armored door. I guess there were two, possibly. So it would have been the same as expensive, but what is this? Is the loot like all above? Okay, go for the pathway up. Can we somehow ladder off this? No, we can't. So somebody could sneak in there behind me. Another sheet door. Looks like we're gonna have to keep going up. There's the trap. You know what we will do is ladder this off. Okay, at least nobody can sneak in. And we'll do one C4. That thing doesn't have ammo. Okay, no need for a C4. We'll do a rocket. And still sheet. Keep going. Oh my god, I'm blocked off by my own ladders. What the heck? Alright, one C4 on to that garage or hopefully you can kill my ladders. Imagine if I suicide here because it clips the ladder. Alright, we're good. You gonna go replace those though. That's a freaking counter, dude. As soon as I killed the ladder. This is why I had him up. Dude's trying to sneak up. Um, really quickly, can we do not gonna risk that? Oh my god, dude, they had smokes in them. Wow, that would have been a fail. Good thing we tested it. That would have been the end of me. Dude is still outside. I think he just jumped in. Okay, he just died. So we have multiple counters. We'll try to send C4 off onto this pathway. Now I can't... Oh my god, I just did that again, bro. Okay, we're gonna try to kill this counter first. How many are there? Somebody else died. We'll try to just get this raid done. Oh, it's a hit marker. I don't know what that hit marker was on. Let's go for this garage door and we'll be watching our back. I think there's two guys here at least. One down. 
Let's see what was up here. Flame turret, no ammo. Okay. And a window. But we do need to hold this down. Let me get into that window real quick. Oh, it's a TC. These guys are gonna have to like parkour up into here. They're on the roof. Can we craft up an embrasure? Okay, we'll take that TC down and get that embrasure place. Okay. Let's check what was in that TC. 3 KGP. Tons of people outside. Boxes are locked over here. Let's get these boxes killed. Oh my god, I almost just killed myself. I guess this was the main loot. Dude had three boxes in here. Four rock 17 C4 sitting in this base, dude? What is that? Definitely we can do a cave now after this. 19 tech trash, I guess that was all the main loot. Senpai soccer. Didn't even sleep with a weapon on him. Gonna have to hold it down up here. I think we're okay. See if we can slap a double door up. Here we go. I think we can hold this down pretty easily. All right, well, I think we're pretty good all chilling here for a bit, see if these guys ever go away. And yeah, I'm gonna try to search for a cave after this. If these guys do start countering it, I will show you guys what happens. Anyway, see you when I see you. Oh shoot, well, apparently they're coming in. Are they going through the roof? They're totally going through the roof. Uh, I think we're gonna have to like try to make a run for it with no cover. This isn't gonna be able to be possible with no cover. I have to try to sneak out like we did yesterday against those Chinese counters. Should be one guy dead. Which clan was this? TY clan. Oh, they're gonna get TC and then seal me off in here, aren't they? No! Yeah, that wasn't happening. Well, so much for the perfect track record. I think there was four of them at least. TY clan. Rip 17 C4 was looking so good. Maybe we can look for a armored cave base. I think I'm gonna save that for tomorrow's video though, guys. That's gonna be it for today after taking that L. Now, if we would have won that raid, I probably would have gone for a cave, but yeah. If you guys wanna stay up to date with my raids, make sure to get subbed and I'll see you guys tomorrow in some more raids. Hope you guys enjoyed, have a good rest of your day and wish me luck.